Hi everyone, um, I just wanted to update you a little bit on the four shoe boxes that I've done. Uh, sometimes, you know, when you make these boxes ahead of time, one of the benefits is, you know, you, you make the box, then you set the ba box on your dresser, and then you look at it from time to time and you think on it. And, uh, or sometimes you're given things by other people that you can use in your shoe box. So that's what I've done here. Uh, first off, my daughters uh, decided to help me decorate the lids, and my daughter Abigail drew this on my 10 to 14 girls lid, and I thought it was really sweet, and I'm very thankful that they like to help out with these shoe boxes. And then uh, the things that I've added to her box, I've already fit them in the box, and they do, everything fits, so. Uh, I decided to add a little horse brush to the horse so that she can play with it a bit better. And then um, my mom gave me some fabric tape. She just, it was kind of random because, you know, I don't sew, but she just said, hey, I have some fabric tape, do you want it? And when I saw it, I thought, oh my goodness, it's purple and I could use it in my shoebox. So I, I took it. And because she gave me this fabric tape, I decided to get a sewing kit for it. So I'm adding a sewing kit to her box. And I had a little space in this box anyways, um, after I packed it. Uh, and this fits perfectly in that little corner of her box. And then I'm also adding this really soft washcloth to it. I just love these and I wanted her to have one. And it's purple, so... I'll just lay it flat on the bottom of her box. And then I'm also adding these jumbo size clothespins. These are really nice. The, the tension on them is really strong. And these fit perfectly, like in each corner of your box you'll usually find you can fit just a little something in there. And these fit perfectly, so I'm gonna put one in each corner of her box. And then just some balloons that I had in my kitchen drawer that haven't been used. I'm just going to add those in. They don't take up any space. And then these little note cards, I just thought she could, you know, be creative with those and use them. And then some lead refills for her mechanical pencil. I didn't realize till after I did the most of my shoe boxes that I never got lead refills and each of my shoe boxes have a mechanical pencil. Um, and then here, I'm really bummed that I didn't get more of these. These are from the Target Dollar Spot, and they're the cutest Christmas cards. And again, it matches her box pretty well. Oh, I've already written in this one. But I like them because they come with this little thin plastic slip cover. And it's great to pack, pack in the shoe box because it helps to protect the card, as well as when the child gets the card, uh, I've heard that they really cherish them, and so I figured she could keep it in this uh, to, to help keep it protected if she would like to do that. So I only ever picked up two of these, but I will remember for next year to get more of these because I love the idea of the plastic slipcover. So that's what I added to my 10 to 14 box, and it sounds kind of crazy because my box already was pretty full, but... I don't know, it all fits, it all fits in there, so I'm thankful that I can add more and hopefully be a blessing to her. And then for my two to four box, not adding much to this, there wasn't that much room, but uh, my daughter Trissa drew this cute tiger to go with his tiger mask, and then we'll just, you know, put the, put the picture up here as well on the lid. I'm just adding these couple of horses uh, to his box because I had a little room and also some lead refills for his mechanical pencil. I was going to put some clothes pins in but I decided not to because with him being so young even though I figured his his mom or caregiver could take them I didn't want to I just wanted to be cautious and I didn't want him to pinch his little fingers on them you know possibly so I didn't put those in his box. And then this box here has been my most challenging box. This is my two to four girl box. Uh, 
The, the things I'm adding to her box are, I realized later that I never put any underwear or socks inside, so I, I went out and got her three pair of underwear to put in here. And also, uh, I had to take the box of crayons out. I had two boxes of crayons that I just had to take a few out and put the rest um, in the, a Ziploc bag for her just, just to save space so that I could fit in this uh, bowl. I was never able to find any mi mini uh, wooden utensils. So I realized though that the whisk was kind of, it wasn't very practical to go with her frying pans because she couldn't really play with it as, as easily. So I just decided to get her the whisk and this, or the bowl to go with the whisk because I thought she could easily play with it because it fits in the bowl real nice. Plus this bowl is, um, it's a real, you know, it's real so she can use it for food if she like if she would like to eat out of it so I added that bowl in and um, this pencil pouch I don't think or no I, I won't be <laughs> buying any more of these pencil pouches from the dollar the Dollar Tree I was I went to put these refills inside and when I zipped it back up the zipper just came right off and it it just broke so I don't know if I got a bad one or what, but I, I'm just not going to buy these anymore. But thankfully, I just so happened to have one extra pencil pouch left in my stash that I had purchased and got on clearance for 50 cents. Um, and the funny thing is, is I don't have them out, but her pencils, her fun pencils that I added to her box are metallic -y gold as well so the pencils match this pencil pouch perfectly so I just have to switch it out and add add this to her box because the other one broke and then I'll show you her lid that my daughter decorated it's just a little pineapple there was a pineapple um, on her sandals and in her coloring book so my daughter drew a little pineapple and again, we'll add her. Uh, we'll add our picture to this box as well. But this was my most challenging box <laughs> to do. And then here, um, just quickly, the only thing I'm adding in this five to nine year boy box is a couple of bouncy balls and some jumbo size clothespins to fit in the corner of each of the corners. Um, and this is the lid that my daughter drew as well, my daughter Trissa. Also, I quickly forgot to say that in my 10 to 14 year girls pencil pouch, I just added some gauze pads, some emery boards, another floss, and this little lip balm that my dentist gave me. And I just wanted to say, I really like these gum soft picks. I love that they have a picture showing how to use them. And when I buy these, I can always stick more than five in. There's probably 15 in here. You can stick so many more in one envelope. So I'm definitely going to keep purchasing these for my shoe boxes because I just love that the, the picture is so clear. Now that is everything that I'm putting in my boxes. <laughs> That's the grand finale. Uh, I hope that wasn't too, you know, too boring. Um, but I just wanted to update you. You know, sometimes these things happen and you think you'll have your box done and then you realize I could fit more in. And you know, it's, it's always good to improve your shoe boxes if you can. And that's the end. Um, you know, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, if I, I, I may, upload some OCC hauls from time to time because I've already started my stash uh, for next year but um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna keep filming everything if I should just you know wait till September or October or if I should just film some shoe boxes from time to time throughout the year 
If you have any input, I would love to hear it. Um, I, I value your honesty, and uh, I'm kind of sad this, this year has come to an end, but I'm also excited for the new year, and I'm so thankful to all of you. I think you mostly all know who you are. Uh, you've inspired me on YouTube, and um, just to, to be really thoughtful with my gifts and uh, with my shoe boxes, and I, I appreciate it. And I hope you all have a great uh, holiday season, and Merry Christmas.